Camino de Cuatro Sierras by Packing Route. So I'm here in Granada, Spain, in Vélez de Benaudala, getting ready for tomorrow's bikepacking trip. It's a good escape from the weather in the Netherlands, to be honest. This five-day, 300 kilometers bikepacking adventure connects the best gravel roads and picturesque traditional villages in Andalusia. We will cover 50 to 70 kilometers per day, but don't be fooled by the distance. These will be days full of climbing up, descending down, some of the most impressive and remote mountain passes in the Sierra Nevada range. But first, time to pack my lightweight bikepacking gear and get my bike assembled with some help. Good morning, day one of the bikepacking trip. So we are here at the Cycle Sierra Nevada. Uh, they're gonna be our guides and we're gonna go to different villages, explore the area. It's gonna be a tough day, like around uh, 80 kilometers with more than uh, 2,000 meters of elevation. So let's see how it goes, but uh, it's really beautiful here. Really excited, but first, coffee. You can also rent a bike here, so you can bring your own bike or you can rent one. Helmets, whatever you want. <laughs> Day one starts in Vélez, climbing out of the valley towards Lagos, a small village, after which we will tackle our first Sierra mountain range, Sierra Lujar. Hi, I'm Luca. Um, I come from Slovenia, but uh, I've been coming here for a couple of years now and just exploring these dry and beautiful re regions of uh, Andalusia. And uh, I'll show you around a little bit, huh? Hi, really. <laughs> Day one, here we go, on the move, it's really nice here, starting with a climb to warm up the legs. Oh, so beautiful, you can see the seaside up in the mountains. First gravel road, really nice this area, in between the mountains and so quiet. So this is the first sierra. So we are here, so it's called Camino Cuatro Sierras and this is the first one, so we're not even at the top, so still Three more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Single track now. <laughs> so we have there the descent. Time to climb again. So far so good, it's really nice in the shades, very fresh. During this trip we will visit some of the traditional towns that have been left behind by urban life, bringing a new life and sharing stories with the locals. So we are like 30k in. We are here in Lujar and this is the Sierra de Lujar. Super nice, uh, really nice views. So we're gonna have a nice cafe, no? <laughs> sí, and then we continue onwards. Really nice, it's, it's quite nice gravel because it's like you are more in the shade. Yeah, but uh, now it's getting warm. Time for a local coffee in the local bar. <laughs> Everywhere we stop, people are super friendly and the food is amazing. Freshly grown vegetables, wherever you go. The colors of the mountain goes from red to like kind of green. A lot of altitude here, but really nice gravel road all the way to the top. That's my opinion. 
This is why you choose the DRX. Normally, feeling the vibe. <laughs> A little break after the climb. A thousand meters of climbing with it. A bit more. Uh, a bit more. Climb it up again and just around the corner and then it drops. Ah, it's kind of a flat. And then uh, there's another saddle there. And then we then we do one, two, three switchbacks. And we get to uh, one, two, four switchbacks, yeah. And then we get to the to the top, which is 1,280 meters, and uh, that's Asa del Lino. From Sierra Lujar, we continue climbing up towards Olias through a nice gravel road before reaching the highest point at 1,300 meters of altitude, Asa del Lino. From there, we will continue towards our accommodation, but there's a surprise along the way. So we are here in Asa de Linos, uh, another quick stop for water. It's really nice, but it's a lot of climbing, I feel it in the legs. But uh, such a nice area. I don't know, so quiet is definitely a hidden gem. A lot of the restaurants and cafes here are only open during the weekend or certain hours, so it's a bit tricky to find. Uh, something open but uh, yeah it's really nice you have some nice places with views quiet what do they do they give you a tapa, a tapa for free you order a drink and you get a tapa all in Granada <laughs> it has to be sometime, huh? So you run in tubes? Yes, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you had tubeless? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Tubeless or tube? <laughs> so the tube is stuck. That's been work, huh? We continue riding in stunning gravel roads in this remote area, but surprise, there's another coffee stop in the middle of the mountains, a bodega run by a nice couple. The place is called Cortijo El Medico. Yeah. It means the doctor's farm. Oh. Yeah. Ah, but there cool. was never a doctor living here, it was a pharmacist. And here we have, you now we are wine, we are growing grapes, we're making mm. wine. So and here we make so. the wine in the bodega. Mm -hmm. And we live on the other side, and that's where I'm going to invite you now for some coffee and banana cake. Ah, thank so you so let's much. Go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it's that moment. Competition, huh? <laughs> it's that moment. <laughs> So finally made it to the accommodation, <laughs> it was uh, a long day. I don't know, I was like 80 kilometers, but those 80 kilometers was like a lot of altitude. You have amazing views here and it's super quiet, like uh, this area is so nice and you have it all for yourself, it's like a uh, wow. So today we climb up the mountains from the other side, then we went down a gravel descent and now we are here. Good morning, day two of the trip. So today is raining, but the views are amazing. It's gonna be a shorter day. Yesterday we did like a 80 kilometers with more than 2000 meters of elevation. Today is a bit shorter, but a lot of elevation. So let's see how it goes. Now, time for breakfast. Leaving a bit later today uh, because it was raining. So let's see how it goes. Really nice area, the hotel was super nice. 
crazy views from there. On day two, we leave Alqueria and bypass Cadera, a picturesque market town known for its charming street. We will continue riding the gravel road towards Hori Ratar and descend along the valley to the river basin. So we had to improvise a bit because of the rain. The road we wanted to take was a bit tricky, so let's see where this one leads us. <laughs> Look at the, the hike of bike of the day. <laughs> Really enjoyed this amazing gravel descent and my confidence grew every day. So here we are in the town of Murtas, Oof. going to the local bar now uh, to escape from the rain. This is like Vegas, <laughs> Spanish Vegas. <laughs> so, cortado is more coffee than milk. Yeah, it's just the problem of manchada. Yeah. Manchada is more milk than coffee. Ah, so time for cortado next time, maybe the manchada. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all for me. <laughs> That's a proper bocadillo. Eh? Mm. I think so. The local. <laughs> From Murtas, we continue riding on gravel roads towards Sierra Nevada. Wow, <laughs> always nice views, huh? Eventually we'll drop all the way down to the to the bottom to the riverbed, and from there we we go around the reservoir and then climb up to La Role. Yeah, nice. Today we had the chance to ride some of the segments used in Badlands and ultra cycling race. This is a concrete ascent. Luckily, I didn't have to go up but down. Rambla de Turon. Rambla de Turon. It's a riverbed, no? It's a riverbed of a uh, ri river or stream Turon. Mm. And uh, we continue for a couple of kilometers till we get to the Presa, which is, <laughs> which is the reservoir. <laughs> yeah. And then we Ooh. continue climbing up to La Rola. Today is very adventurous, huh? <laughs> Hiking, riverbeds, nice gravel descent. Cycling in riverbeds remind me to Bohemian border rush. <laughs> <laughs> that seems tricky, yeah? <laughs> they used to be grey, but now, you know, they changed color. <laughs> Cleaning the shoes. We are now in the Diputación of Almería. I think the riverbed we just went through or was part of the Badlands route <laughs> was a test for the handling skills. So 
here in this area you have these nice cute villages but there's not many people living here anymore so it's nice that uh, people stop here and also you know keep the bars alive <laughs> let's see so what's the name of this village uh no it's a uh, cherin cherin ah Chering. It rhymes with my name, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the town of Laroles. I really like these small villages here in Spain, but there's not many people any longer living here. So just a few restaurants or hotels are open. Today we're staying here. It was a short day because we had to improvise a bit. And now waiting for dinner. And uh, this is like the route of Camino Cuatro Sierras. So we did one yesterday, another today, and then we have two more to go. Morning day three, we are here in Larole, so today is sunny, it's gonna be sunny all day. And uh, we're gonna go to the third Sierra, Sierra Nevada, so the highest one. Uh, we already did two yesterday, we have one today and another one uh, the last day, so let's see how it goes. So we've been climbing for eight kilometers and now the real gravel starts. So this is already Sierra Nevada, no? Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Today we're going to the top now? Uh, no, we're not going to the top, but we're going up to the up to around 2,000 meters. Yeah. And then we're going to keep rolling up and down between 1,500 and 2,000 meters until we drop down to the main road again after 40 kilometers or so. So we are now getting into altitude, we've been climbing, the landscape changed a lot. So you have this really nice gravel road going up and there's forest, so before it was more like a, I don't know, rocky and now it's like a really nice pine forest. It's fresh up here, but today is awesome weather here in Spain. Days up and down on gravel, but this is truly cycling paradise. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> we made it to the highest point, so the views are amazing. So now it's just descending, I think. So it's gonna be a bit chilly <laughs> on the descent. Yeah, but uh, really enjoyed this uh, gravel climb. I think it's Great. I mean, it's like champagne gravel. <laughs> Today is high altitude in Sierra Nevada. We continue riding on gravel roads before descending and then going up again towards our accommodation in Treveles. <laughs> Now it's a bit of climbing and descending, but it gets very chilly up here, even if it's sunny. We are like a 2,000 meters of altitude. So we are here following a gravel road for more than, I don't know, like 40k, I think, or uh, 30k. Super nice 
gravel road. We went up nearly to Sierra Nevada and after we will descend again. So let's see. Now it's sunny but still fresh. Enough for dinner. Oh, <laughs> so mushrooms. I think it would be nice. Uh, I mean, Trevelyans is not very far away, but um, what's another tostada in our tummy? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, we could get another tostada in about three kilometers and um, and then we continue to Trevelyans. We are in Jubiles, time for a tostada. There's not many bars open during the week, so <laughs> it's nice to find one to have some Spanish nights. We are getting close to the Hamon area. <laughs> Looking forward to try it out. So Time for tostada, typical from the region. So I asked this one with serrano ham, of course, and some cheese. Well, that's quite a lot of cheese. <laughs> I'm here in Treveles world famous serrano ham got my serrano ham <laughs> worth the climb i was like okay i have to make it on time to get that serrano ham <laughs> now time to fuel up for tomorrow enjoying an amazing spanish dinner with great views I think four, yeah. Good morning, day four. So we are in Sierra Nevada, we slept in Traveles, and now we're heading towards Capilera, I think. After our night in Traveles, we head straight back up into the high mountains towards Nihuelas. This route is very similar to the previous day, staying above 15,000 meters of altitude in mostly gravel roads. It's a tough day on the saddle, but we will stop first in the town of Capilera, the finish line, for the riders doing the Badlands race. This one is a tricky one. I better walk it. <laughs> ah, be careful there. Uh, ooh. <laughs> We lost the hike. <laughs> A bit of hiking today. <laughs> yeah. So we are now climbing above the clouds on another really nice gravel road. There was a part of the road that was not longer there, so we had to hike up, but the rest is super beautiful. Got I got the QM there, no? Yes, you did. <laughs> And we got over to over to Hasa de Lino and then we continued through so over the ridge of Sierra Contraviesa, which is that ridge over there. The 
this is insane. We have Sierra Nevada and a rainbow over there. So we are now in Capileira, a quick stop for coffee after descending from the mountain. Super fun descent and the rainbow was insane. Coffee with a view, huh? <laughs> Local speciality? So, coffee of the day. Ruben, oh, okay. where are we? we are what way... was this climb? This is the best climb we have. This is better than the Stelvio or, or anything. And this know. is called the Fuente del Tello. Yeah, that was a tough one. Huh? Yeah, but pretty nice. <laughs> well, I think it was, I don't know, 15% sometimes or I don't know, for know. 7 kilometers. That was tough. You have to push it or you don't make it. This is probably the best gravel descent I ever done. I really enjoyed it. A nice smooth road with really nice corners and very steep, but with the stunning views, a perfect way to finish the day. So finally we made it to the hotel after a nice descent but it was a bit scary to be honest with the wind and uh, we're staying tonight in a really nice uh, traditional Spanish house uh, with a nice patio and everything. I'm in the town of Nigeras, it's really windy so found a supermarket that is open. Let's see, time for some shopping. Snacking before dinner, Snacking guilty. Before. I eat non-stop. <laughs> so th there's this trick I heard that... Um, what is that? Vinegar from... Um, from veggies, from like... Uh, from these pickles. Things, from pickles, yeah. It's actually good. Uh, it's actually good for your muscles, apparently, <laughs> after the ride. <laughs> Recovery from this climb. Pro tip. <laughs> Pro tip, huh? <laughs> One of my favorite things when I come to Spain, cheese ahoy. I don't know if you can get it somewhere else, but I love them. Good morning, day five. We are here in Nihuela, so we slept in a hotel here. It was super nice. Had some breakfast and now last day. Time to hit the road again. A lot of climbing, so let's see how it goes. For our final day, we leave Sierra Nevada side and pass over through the Lecrim Valley. We will pass by one yard's olive and almond farms until we reach Albuñuelas. Stop for a coffee before heading back into the mountains. Twenty-two kilometers of gravel in the remote region over there in uh, Sierra Guejar. Um, the last Sierra. The last Sierra, exactly. Sierra Huejar. So G U E G 
J A R. It's just the name of the place, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it comes from uh, it comes from the Muslim um, Muslim era. So here you have the local market. So they have like fresh vegetables and fruits, and uh, the food in the area is really good. So this is Camino de Cuatro Sierras or the Cuatro Tostadas. <laughs> The final tostada of the trip. The final huh? tostada of the trip. Yeah, I so. Think, think. <laughs> there's, al there's always room for one more. There's always room for one more. What's your favorite so far? Favorite tostada, or favorite uh, sierra, or favorite queso, or favorite jamón? <laughs> favorite uh, tostada, yeah. Favorite tostada would be yesterday in Capilera, for sure. Yeah. And um, favorite sierra, most likely. Uh, most likely Sierra Lujar, which is the first one. Mm -hmm. Even though Sierra Nevada has its own place, but it's uh, just to make it a little bit more alternative, maybe. So now a bit of gravel <laughs> after the super steep climb. <laughs> Those climbs here are leg breakers. We're here, eh? So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna do some of these undulations and, go down. and then we drop down and Guajaralto is somewhere here where, where this line is. We are between th the two oranges? Yeah. Yes, we're between two oranges. Yeah. <sighs> so slippery. Jesus Christ, but the landscape is beautiful. This climb, 10 out of 10. After Albuñuelas, we climb up on this top gravel road, reaching the top of Cerro de la Ferosa, where we can see stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea and now back down to Sierra Nevada mountains where we just spent our week. From here we start descending all the way to Vélez, but before we stop at Guajaralto for a coffee, our La Sierra. We are now in Guajaralto, our second coffee stop. We just did a descent, really cool one. And now, yeah, it's getting really warm because we just came down from altitude, so we were up there in the mountains. And now we are here in Guajaralto. It's a small village, as you can see, you have the church, fountains. End of the trip, back to the start. <laughs> so we sad when a trip ends. So we are here with Cormac from Cycle Sierra Nevada. What's the concept behind these bikepacking routes? Uh, the concept behind the route is uh, I've been arranging cycling tours here in the Sierra Nevada for some years. Um, unfortunately, the area suffers from uh, rural depopulation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the places we, we stopped in the past now are, are, are beginning to close. So some of the old bars and um, uh, restaurants and hotels and stuff. So we've come up with this idea simply is a way to promote cycle tourism, ethical tourism in, in these uh, hard to reach, more rural areas that mm -hmm. we normally had stopped in the past and, and to try to bring some business there. And why is it called Camino Cuatro Sierras? Camino de la Cuatro Sierras. Uh, some say it's named after our favorite pizza, Cuatro Quesos. But it's uh, basically, it's very simple. There's, there's four uh, mountains that we that we pass four Sierras, so there's two on the coast at the start, Sierra uh, Lujar, Sierra de la Contravesa, and then we go on to the Sierra Nevada, and then we come back again into the Sierra 
with Sierras and um, Los Guajares, Guajares Alto. And that's, that's, that's the basic idea behind it. So four Sierras, Cuatro Sierras.